Hi, my name is Isela and I am an Amistad success story. I am a registered dietitian and a certified diabetes educator from San Antonio, Texas. I'm going to be talking a little bit about my weight loss journey with Almacid. Uh, in 2015, I embarked on a life-changing, body-transforming weight loss journey. I stepped on the scale and I saw 161 pounds. Uh, prior to that, my weight was pretty much in the 120s, 130s. Uh, somehow, over the course of a few years, uh, I went into the 140s, 150s, boom, by the time I knew it, I was 161. Uh, at 161, uh, to me, that was the heaviest I had uh, ever been, so it was a pretty big deal for me to see those numbers on the scale. Um, it was very tough for me to admit as a registered dietitian uh, that my weight was out of control. Um, as a health educator, I very much enjoy encouraging my patients to lead healthier lifestyles, so uh, at some point in time, I fell off the bandwagon and I felt like I was pretty much uh, not practicing what I was preaching. Um, all that extra weight I was carrying was affecting my self-esteem. Um, I hated shopping. I felt, uh, I felt like I, I didn't feel comfortable wearing uh, the type of clothes that I wanted to wear. Uh, so it was pretty much a, a turning point in my life. I realized that uh, there was something I needed to do about it and I needed a little extra help. Um, I remembered, uh, for some reason I remembered that a few years back I had seen an Almacid ad in Today's Dietitian magazine. So uh, I went on their website and I thoroughly researched the product. Um, I read tons of reviews on Amazon. Uh, as a healthcare professional, I was of course very skeptical about the claims, but I figured, you know, uh, what do I have to lose? So I decided to uh, give it a shot. Um, I was 33 years old at the time, I remember. Uh, so in, on January 5th, 2015, I started uh, I started the full weight loss program. If you go on their website, you're going to notice they have three different programs depending on how much weight you're trying to lose. Uh, because I was trying to lose close to 40 pounds, uh, I decided to go with a full weight loss program. Uh, I started early January 2015. Uh, come February, March, I took on jogging, running. Uh, one of my nieces recommended a circuit training uh, workout program. I started that in April. Uh, I purchased the program. I bought some workout workout equipment and I started the circuit training at home. Uh, by August, mid-August 2015, um, I had reached my goal. Uh, I was 125 pounds. Uh, words cannot even begin to describe how excited I was when I saw those numbers on the scale. Uh, I had pretty much uh, accepted the fact that uh, I was never going to see those numbers on the scale again. Uh, so when I did, it was uh, I was just uh, beyond excited really. Uh, I went from wearing a size 10 to 12 in pounds to wearing a size 2. Uh, I went from wearing a size uh, large to extra large in tops to wearing a size extra small to medium. Uh, so I truly felt like a, like, a new, uh, like a renewed woman. I felt leaner, I felt fit, I felt more confident, I felt strong. Uh, it was, uh, it was, my transformation was just uh, remarkable really. Um, some of the uh, things that I experienced along the way was uh, plateaus. Uh, I did inevitably hit those plateaus. Uh, there were times where uh, two, to, two to three weeks would pass and I, the scale wouldn't budge, but then uh, all of a sudden I'd lose two to three pounds all at once. Uh, that was kind of my uh, per personal experience, my weight loss pattern. Um, I basically just kept myself on track most of the time. Uh, I did fall off the wagon a few times with the eating, uh, with the healthier eating, with the working out, but uh, I would get right back on track. Uh, so the key really to this program is uh, consistency, really, uh, and also a very positive mindset. Uh, I went into this with a very positive mindset. I was uh, very motivated uh, to lose the weight. I was very motivated to change. Uh, and there, in I, f I feel like there was no moment in which I doubted that I would, uh, I would accomplish my uh, my goals, and and I did. Um, I learned some valuable lessons along the way. Uh, one of them is uh, when you want something really bad, you're gonna find a way, not an excuse. Uh, I found never to give up on my my dreams, my goals. Uh, you can accomplish anything with a positive mindset and uh, hard work and dedication. Uh, it really does uh, pay off. Um, fast forward two years, I am now married uh, with a beautiful uh, three-month newborn. Uh, so um, January 6th, I underwent a C-section. 
um, around March of this year, 2017, uh, I started the Almost uh, Weight Loss Program again, uh, and I'm back to my circuit workouts, um, fitting into I'm fitting into a lot of my pre-pregnancy clothes again. Um, my goal is to be fit again. My goal is to be fit again. Um, it's definitely tougher this time around. Uh, the first time I did it, uh, I was single. Uh, so there are definitely a lot more uh, challenges presenting themselves at this time. I am working full time. Uh, my husband is 100% supportive of my goals. Uh, and he is a big help. Uh, I'm meal prepping. Um, I do my circuit workouts when baby naps uh, or he helps me watch baby while I do my circuit workouts. Uh, but once again, uh, living proof that uh, when you're, your mind is set and you're dedicated to something, uh, anything is possible really. Um, my recommendation with the shakes is that you find something that you really like, play with the recipes, uh, be consistent. Uh, don't get discouraged when you fall off track. It happens to uh, all of us. You're going to have your bad days. But like I said, what's important is that you get back on track and that you stay consistent with your uh, program. Uh, I improved my diet significantly while on the program. Uh, I started choosing leaner proteins. I started choosing uh, eating more whole grains, more vegetables. Uh, my diet just slowly improved. Uh, I adopted a healthier lifestyle. It became a, a part of me. Um, so uh, back to the shakes, uh, I do highly encourage that you, uh, like I said, play with the recipes. I personally prefer using a blender. Uh, I do use a blender bottle sometimes, it really depends, but um, the first time around that I did the challenge, I would use, uh, I prefer the blender. So I keep uh, a blender, this is my work blender, I keep this at work. Uh, I even traveled at one point and I carried the blender with me. Uh, at home, I have an awesome Ninja Blender, uh, which works uh, awesome. Uh, I personally have always used almond milk to make the shakes. Uh, it did not affect my uh, it did not affect my results whatsoever. I always always use the almond milk. I just find it tastes better. It's creamier uh, with the almond milk. Uh, some people are okay with using water. So, like I said, it really comes down to what do you prefer? For me, I prefer the blender. So I find I found a way to always have it on me, and I made it work. Uh, this time around, I'm a little more practical. Uh, I'm using the blender bottle, sometimes I'm using uh, the blender. Uh, I'm also a lot more confident with the product now. So I am uh, basically creating all kinds of recipes now because uh, I feel like I, I know the, uh, the product a lot better this time around. I'm gonna be sharing, uh, to kind of close up, I'm gonna be sharing one of my tw uh, 2017 uh, spring recipes. Okay, so here I have 12 ounces of light vanilla almond milk, and here I have six tablespoons of almond seed powder and one teaspoon of matcha. Okay, uh, I love matcha because uh, matcha is very high in antioxidants. Uh, it does contain some caffeine, but it doesn't give it doesn't make you uh, jittery. A lot of people who are sensitive to caffeine uh, actually do perfectly well with uh, matcha. Uh, it doesn't contribute a significant amount of calories to the shake either. And I really do like the earthy matcha flavor. I personally enjoy it a lot. Uh, so six tablespoons of almond seed, one teaspoon of matcha. Um, I'm 5'2", with a meat, uh, I'm 5'2", so six tablespoons is, a, is a okay for me. If you're 5'6", or taller, you wanna use the full eight tablespoons, okay? Um, so what I'm going to take the almond seed and the matcha and I'm going to pour it into the blender bottle. So then I'm going to put the, the mixer in there. And I'm just going to shake it up really good. Uh, you want to make sure that you really shake it good so that you don't have any of those uh, matcha clumps so that the protein or the matcha don't clump up. Uh, you can always use a blender as well too. So uh, here we go. It's perfectly blended, and this is what I now call my alma seed, uh, my alma seed matcha uh, latte. Uh, I love the way it tastes. It's incredible, uh, and like I said, I'm getting all the the antioxidants and benefits from the uh, matcha powder. Uh, so whether you're looking to lose weight or just or whether or maybe you're just looking for a go-to meal replacement product, uh, Almacid is a great choice. Uh, some
some of the things that I really love about the Amazon product are that it doesn't contain any artificial, um, no artificial uh, flavors, no added sugars, no fillers, uh, no stimulants. Uh, it is made from non-GMO uh, soy, yogurt, and honey. Uh, so it is uh, today. Um, it is definitely a product that I would uh, highly recommend.